So in this video we're going to have a look at how many colours you can get from using just four. So we're going to use cadmium yellow, magenta red and black and white and it will astound you how many beautiful tones we can get, how many tints we can get and how interesting it can be just using those four colours. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, I'm uh, Joy Fay, and I'm an artist and teacher and I love showing people how they can get the best from their colour. So today we're going to talk about warm colours and the amazing things that you can achieve by just using um, red and yellow. I'm using magenta red here and I'm using cadmium yellow and it will really surprise you to how many different uh, tones and contrasts and tints that you can get from just using these two colors and black and white. Now we could just do, um, you know, a normal exercise, but it's actually fun to do it as, you know, an abstract painting, see what happens. And when I do this with my students, you know, they really are amazed at how many different contrasts and tones can happen from just using <laughs> these four colors. And, you know, apart from anything else, it saves you loads of money on buying lots and lots of different paints because you can make um, so many different variations from such a limited palette. And it's really kind of exciting. So, you know, I really suggest that you play with this and you can use, you know, obviously different, um, different kinds of yellows. You know, you could use yellow ochre and um, different red and see what happens, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and you'll get all different amazing tones. Um, adding, adding white will give you the tint and then adding uh, black will take the tone down as you'll see as we go. And um, it's a really fun thing to do as well as, you know, creating something um, interesting as an abstract painting. You know, it reminds me a little bit of the artist Paul Clay <laughs> and, you know, looking at some of his wonderful uh, pictures, then um, I'm sure he was inspired by doing this too. Now, if you wanted to learn a little bit more about um, all the wonderful things that you can do with colour mixing, I do have a colour mixing masterclass uh, course uh, which goes into a lot of depth of all the different things that you can um, achieve with understanding how colour works. So I'll put the link below and if you'd like to have a look at that, it you know might be of interest if you want to really explore this whole area of colour mixing. I mean, obviously we're painting, so we need to know about colour. <laughs> now you can see here that I've added a little bit of black and um, a bit of the red and the yellow. And what a beautiful colour. You know, it doesn't look like um, that we've just, you know, that we've just used red, yellow and black. It's um, really a beautiful tone and see how it contrasts with the um, other colours. It's really uh, interesting um, how it works and you know you come up with these beautiful lilacs and uh, purple it's, it's using black I mean who would have thought so um, I know that you'll surprise yourself when you um, play around with it yourself and see what um, what you come up with and there we've sort of got like a complementary colour really with the yellow next to the um, deep lilac, which is a beautiful contrast. Um, and it's really kind of coming together as an interesting little painting, although it's an exercise. And, you know, I really suggest that you play around with this. I've got some um, other ones that I uh, have on video with uh, using um, again the primary colours just but using two of them, uh, blue and yellow. So of course you get loads of beautiful tones of greens and adding the black and the white again and then um, using blue and red together. 
So from those three primary colors, you have got a massive amount of possibilities with, um, with creating a, a, a lovely paintings um, that will surprise you. Really, honestly, you'd be amazed at the amount of different um, colors you can achieve from just really using primary colors and vary them, obviously. <laughs> So I hope you um, will enjoy this and have fun playing around with it. You know, the possibilities are endless of what you can do with this and turning these colors into something great. And uh, check out the course because that might be something that you could really expand on. So here's the final picture and uh, Please leave a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts and like and share this um, video and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.